Hello viewers, you're welcome to another episode of Fresh Celebrity Gist. And today we have in the studio somebody who may likely be the youngest pageant king in Nigeria. He goes by the name Emmanuel Somto. Somto, you're welcome to the studio. Thank you, sir. Tell us about yourself. We know you recently won the Mr. Teen Nigeria. Who is Somto Emmanuel? Okay, Emmanuel Somto is a Nigerian teenager and um, the current winner of Mr. Teen Nigeria. He, I am from Imo State, Nigeria. I'm a student and um, I'm a model. A model? Yes, I'm a model. An actor? Yes, I'm, I'm just trying to go into acting. I just did two jobs since I won Mr. Tin. What and what did you do? It's serious. One is for Society for Family Health, something. They are just trying to pass a message about HIV. And I think I played something like supporting lead in the series. It's not outdoor. Just finished shooting. How old are you? Mm. <laughs> I'm 19. At the age of 19, you're already a celebrity, is that what it is? Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> yes, I feel I'm already a celebrity at 19. And what is life like as a celebrity? Hmm. Life like a celebrity, wow. One of the challenging things as a celebrity that I don't really like is the wardrobe stuff. Each time you get a, a call, come for an event, uh, you start thinking of what to wear, calling designers, making calls, anyone that wants to turn you down, we'll be like begging, please, 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 you have to make this, I don't want to miss this event and all that. So it's not been easy. On a normal day, before I became Mr. Teen, I can just wear anything, I can repeat a glute hundred times, but this time, when you get a call, you have to order for a glute immediately. So it has really been difficult and challenging. And another thing is the phone, at least I'm on celebrity just today. <laughs> so. And who takes care of the wardrobe for you? Mm, I don't use one designer though, uh, but I have major people who take care of my wardrobe. I have Trenda Johnson, Tavries, and Samuel Couture, and the rest. One thing that most celebrities lose once they become celebrity is their personal freedom. Yes. Have you been a victim of that also? Yes, I am. How has it changed? Just tell us about it. Hmm. I really like laughing. <laughs> Anyone that knows me will know that I laugh a lot. But since I became the so called celebrity. <laughs> I uh, cannot so laugh. Yeah, bro. I'm still trying to you are. Okay, I hope I am. Okay. Um, I love laughing a lot and I laugh so much. My friends know me for that. But since I became Mr. Teen, uh, I reduced the way I laugh. When I go for events, even though there is a cause for me to laugh, I just have to pretend that I don't want to laugh or I just have to control myself. So I don't have that freedom anymore. You want to laugh for us now? Mm -mm, mm -mm, not. <laughs> but laughing mm. is good for you. It, yeah. I think it helps you to carry uh, your, your fans along. How do you, mm -hmm. you think you have to continue? You can to say laugh? smiling, not laughing. Okay, I can smile, mm. but I cannot laugh now. Okay, what has relationship with your friends, your peer group uh, become since you've become a, mm. uh, Mr. Nigeria or Mr. Teen Nigeria? It's stronger now. Stronger? Yes. You still have that freedom related with them? Mm -hmm. Because they put me, they, they contributed a lot for me to emerge. So I still carry them along. We are still friends. They still advise me. I still listen to them. I still work together with my old friends. But there is this kind of big image that comes with it. And sometimes they come to you. Do they feel uh, like, oh, let me take photograph with you and all this kind of thing? Yes, or they, they just come do, to you. But I'll be like, Emmanuel. stop now. I'm still me. Stop begging me for pictures. <laughs> I'm especially my roommate, Chisum. Each time he sees me, he really he wants to take pictures with me. And I'll be like, ah. Don't mean you did here every time. <laughs> you understand? So, well, it's cool. We're still good. We're so still you must have been signing autographs. No, I don't. You don't sign autographs? I'm People not have not come to you, or you just don't sign it. I'm just rising. I'm just what, rising. What does it take? Mm, I don't know. My name has not really gotten to every ear in Nigeria. So, we're but still it's gradual. Rising. Yeah, it's gradual. Okay, tell us about how you emerged as a um, king of uh, Mr. T in Nigeria. Hmm. How I met Mr. Nigeria is like every other pageant, like Mr. Nigeria, Mr. Torres in Nigeria, Universe Nigeria. I applied, I was picked during the audition, and most of us that competed are actually winners of the state level, though I wasn't Mr. Tin Imo. I just applied and I was picked to represent Imo, so I competed with some other guys, and um, uh, we had to camp. We camped in Lagos. I had to travel from Oweri to Lagos. Every other camp activities, like it's always done, rehearsals, early morning waking up and all that. After the host of Imo emerged, and uh, Imo representative is Emmanuel Somto sitting right here. So that is how I became Mr. T in Nigeria after all the competition from online, stage, and the rest. Okay, you didn't emerge as a winner of your state. Was that selection or mm, you won? Yeah. It? 
Others uh, won their states. Some people, you know, the, the franchise has not really gotten to all the parts of Nigeria. Okay. Yeah, just like Mysteries in Nigeria, they, there are states that conduct Mysteries in of their states, but mm -hmm. some other states don't have. So what they do for such states is organizing audition to pick one person to represent that state. So that is the same case. I, I, there was an audition in Imo State and I applied, then I was picked to represent Imo. At age 19, you must be in school. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing about studies? Mm -hmm. I'm still studying. Oh, where is that? Imo State University. What are you reading there? Nursing science. Nursing? Yes, nursing. Okay, how has this, um, have you been able to combine both? God has been faithful. I give my time to studies when I need to, and I give my little time to my career when I also need to. No distractions? No distractions. So has that impacted negatively on your grade? Not. No, not at all. What about your parents? What are their thoughts about this? My parents are my number one fans. In any competition, in anything I do, my parents always come out the number one. So they don't have problems with that. They've never questioned your choice. No. If no my you, choice? Yeah, your choice. As regards the, my career or studies. As regards the pageant? No, they don't. They're they comfortable with it? They are. As a matter of fact, they had to come down to Lagos all the way from away to support me. Even with their finances? Mm hmm Yes. Mm. My first ever pageant, my parents really, they got all my wardrobe from my suit tradition, all that. How did they feel when you emerged? Myself or my parents? They are your parents. Wow, my parents felt very bad, but I didn't like what happened that minute. They wanted to come hug me. The security didn't allow them. And I was like, this is my mom. This is my... <laughs> okay, they feel so bad. They feel so bad. But they had to chill until I calmed down. We can now start jubilating. But you were able to take photographs with them at the end of the day? No, that night, no. I don't know how that happened. That night after we imaged, I and my queen and the runner-ups, they just took us away. Bundled you away? Yeah. It's like Michi, I'm sorry. <laughs> you see, yeah? It's like you don't know have your freedom. Mm -hmm. that you is become, you're not a property of, of the organizers. Of the organizers. Yes, so that is it. Decide what happens I can remember you. I was hearing my manager, the organizer, saying, "Then please, please take them away from here and all that." So, was it a kind of a mob? Because the crowd, that people were too much the crowd was so much, much and I don't really know why they do that. It's not just a misattention. It happens in every pageant. Once the person emerges, they just have to take them away. And even the interviews we did that night was in the room. So I don't know why they do that, but I think because of the crowd. Okay, you also we still have uh, Emmanuel Somto in the studio and he's telling us about his life as a celebrity. And as a celebrity, we want to dig more into it, how he's integrating when we come back to you. Stay tuned with us. You're welcome back. We're still on to Fresh Celebrity Gist, and with me in the studio is Emmanuel Somto. Emmanuel, what was the package like as the prize you won? Hmm. The prize I won? Yeah. <laughs> it's the normal prize they give to any pageant winner. <laughs> Some people win houses. Some people win cars. I've not seen where houses won in Nigeria, only that they can pay your house rent for one year. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get that, but I got the normal stuff, the official stuff, the normal official car, the normal official wardrobe. Uh, it's the normal thing. Uh, so as it is now, you are cruising around with your I car. Don't, I said official, I don't drive myself. It's only when I have something official, then my manager will be like, okay, take him there, bring him back. But that's just to hide you from this crowd. I hope so. <laughs> I think so. When you were contesting, what was that thing that was paramount in your mind? I was like, ha. Ah, I really want to win this competition. Why? Because it will give me a platform to reach out to Nigerian teenagers, which I've always wanted to do. I was like, God, please give me the chance. Give me this chance. I want to be Mr. T in Nigeria. I want to talk to Nigerian teenagers. And when I went into the competition, I saw that almost all the competitors were ready to win too. So I had to work hard. I have to push hard. I never knew I would win. Even when they announced me, I doubted it. But thank God. Looking, at, looking back, what did you think you did differently compared to the contestants? Early preparations. I started preparing for this competition since last year. And uh, I used good designers for my outfits. And uh, I rehearsed. And uh, there was much publicity. I made sure that bloggers were writing about me just as, just as a competitor, letting the world know that this person is going for this competition, even without you winning. 
during then some people would tell me when they hashtag or when they google they already seen her everywhere as a contestant so that carried it everywhere even people that didn't know me when they came for the event they were campaigning for me just because they've heard my name or seen my picture one place or the other so those are the things i did and put together that i felt made me outstanding you said you wanted to get a message across to the youth or mm, the teenagers. teenagers what is the message you've been getting across to them mm, i want to be an inspiration to them Mm -hmm. I want them to look at me and say, wow, I want to be like this person. Mm -hmm. I want them to chat me up, call me up and be like, wow, how did you start? How is it going? I want them to be like, ah, this person is really representing us well. And most importantly, I want to use this medium and this platform to reach out to them about HIV, mm -hmm. to let them know that HIV is real, which is my pet project. And by the grace of God, I'm partnering with some people like um, Nefwan, and Apan, Naka, SFH and the rest by the grace of God. So I want to use that medium to let them know that HIV is real and how they should abstain it. Because most of the youths, Nigerian youths living with HIV, are actually living with HIV because they got it as teenagers out of ignorance. So I, that is the major cause and message I want to pass to teenagers. I want to, them to look at me when, while I speak and let them know that HIV is real. You understand? Yeah. What are the reception being like? Mm, it's cool. It's fun. Just fun? Yeah, it's fun. When you enter an office to seek partnership, sponsorship for your mm. pet project, yeah. and small boy, as it were, just walk in. How do they look at you? A small boy walk in the office? No, just walked into the office. Oh, once I'm wearing this, it makes me a big boy. Okay. So any office I, I enter, they'll be like, oh, Mr. Tini, you're in the office today. I'll be like, wow. And they give me listen ears, but I remember those days I, I wasn't wearing this. When I walk into an office, it becomes an issue. So I can say this thing changed the big, the small boy. When I enter, they feel relaxed. They feel like somebody that competed for something and won came around. So they give me listening ears. You've never had a door slammed against you no, before? No, no, no. And I hope I don't. <laughs> I'm looking at you with your band and you talking about Nigeria. Yeah. All right, what would you say about Nigeria at the moment in terms of um, some people talk about the change, some people talk about the hardship in the land, okay. some people talk about um, some situation we shouldn't be in. Okay. What's the message you have for both the leaders and the people out there? Um, message to the leader and the followers. Well, my advice is just to the leaders, not to the followers. The leaders should put much support to entertainment. I don't know if I have much time to talk about this, but I have to. People like Miss Universe, Philippine actually won Miss Universe this year, 2015. And now she went immediately uh, after she won, she went back to her country to have a meeting with her president on how to host Miss Universe in Philippine. And you know what that means? The whole country will be coming down to Philippine, and that is a way of creating job opportunity by all these people coming in. Hotels will sell out rooms and the rest, all those stuff is kind of things we expect. So Nigerian leaders should not just put their money into, I don't know where they put their money into though, but they should also give entertainers and they should also invest on entertainment because Nigeria have good, we have we are really doing good entertainment. Okay, now Mr. Watt just ended. The Nigerian representative couldn't win. I don't know. All these things are things they are supposed to work on. Other places, other countries, people like India. India won Mr. Watt this year. His government, the, gov the in Indian government, packaged and sponsored him. All these things don't happen in Nigeria. Our government don't even know such things exist. So they should involve their whatever into the entertainment industry uh, too. I, I, think, I think Nigeria has always been supportive of pageantry because so when Ms. Albani Darigo won the Miss World, she was able to attract the hosting. That was uh, right 15 in years ago. Yeah. Right Perhaps now, none of the other pageants has been able to uh, right now we live up that. to that standard. Since Abani won, some other persons from Nigeria have been winning. People like Collis Mwadike, who is my role model in the industry. Mm. She won face of the universe. What has happened? We didn't even celebrate. They didn't even celebrate her. Perhaps when she also depends on how much she was able to drive her dream. I mean, his dream. Anyway, they have to invest on entertainment. I don't know. They have to invest on entertainment. Nigerians are really doing well, both the film industry, music industry and all that. They really have to invest on entertainment. Very soon, the way I see it, Nigeria will be the heart of entertainment in the world. So they should invest on entertainment too. That is my only advice to them for now.
the rest yeah, everybody is also talking is already talking about uh, the rest dollar and the rest for now me i'm talking about entertainment so they should invest on entertainment yeah but i think actually i support that we actually okay. should invest on entertainment there are so many reasons though it has added or contributed immensely to our gdp okay i agree with you but let's talk about your aspiration now you are 19. Wow. if you didn't win this you would have lost the opportunity of becoming mr teen nigeria yes. for life now you want it. Congratulations. Thank you. What are your aspirations? Hmm, my aspirations. I hope to make some real good inspirations to teenagers. First of all, I want to be an inspiration to them. I just have one year to be Mr. Teen Nigeria, so I have to work hard so that teenagers will be like, talk about me. Even in the next five years, they'll be like, wow, when I was 15, there is this guy. They say his name is Emmanuel, some though he was Mr. Teen Nigeria then. I want to be like him when I grew up. Fine. I want to pass an inspiration to them. I don't know what I would do to pass this inspiration, but whatever it is I do that will make teenagers be like, I want to be like you. I want to follow his steps and all that. Fine. And my aspiration to, hmm. I hope to do things that will make and equip me for Mr. Nigeria because that is a pageant I've always loved to do. Well, I'm a teenager, I'm sure I'm not allowed to do it for now. Maybe in the next three years or four, I will be allowed to compete. So I want to use this opportunity as Mr. Teen Nigeria to gather, the, equip myself for that. So it is also my aspiration. And my aspiration is to be the first ever Nigerian, to be the male Abani Darigo, to be the one that will bring Mr. World down to Nigeria. You are working towards that. Yes, I'm working towards that. I think you are doing enough. One thing about me is I'm a go-getter. I'm working hard for that. Okay. okay. Uh, we're still uh, out of Fresh Celebrity Gist, and uh, we still have um, Emmanuel Soto in the studio. When we come back, we'll be moving into the Fresh Celebrity Crush segment. Let's see what he has to say about that part of his life. Welcome back. I still have uh, Emmanuel Samto in the studio. Emmanuel. Boys. This is a segment that is very, I'm very passionate about. Wow. And it's something I always ask every celebrity once they come to the studio. Wow. I know you're a teenager. Yeah. But you are both 18. Yes. Who is your celebrity crush? Wow, I love that question. This is the first time I've been asked this question, though. Hmm, my celebrity crush. Uh, I don't even need to think. My celebrity crush still remains um, the amicable, delectable Genevieve Naji. I love her so, so much and uh, I don't mind marrying her despite the fact that she might be twice my age or something. I love her so much. She is my crush. You think you can marry somebody older than you? If it is Genevieve Naji, then fine. I you know about that, that so many people also have us. No one no, would. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah, so many people have us. Yeah, you're going to compete with so many people on this. Hmm. Well, I may be lucky. Given the opportunity, what would you do to have her? Hmm. In this case, I'm not sure anybody really needs to work hard to have her. She should be the one to say, this is who I want. So it's all about grace. I just hope grace speaks for me. She'll be like, hey, I want to marry Emmanuel Samto and I'll gladly jump. <laughs> She's not going to come looking for any man. Yeah, but... If you want your onions, you should go for her. Yeah, uh, okay. If I have the opportunity to go to her, I will. I bring her to the studio today and wow. this is... Then I'll be the second Nigeria. person to kneel down and propose to her. I think I watched a video where someone knelt down to propose to her on red carpet. I think it's a joke though, but I can do that. What's so special about uh, Genevieve and Nigeria? I don't really know any... What is... Okay, I know some things that are special about her. She is so unique. She is the real definition of being an actor. She is just herself. And she is this person that when you mention her name, everybody will be like, wow, she created an impact in the industry. And uh, another thing, another thing making her special is she's black and strong. She's a woman. So these are the things I love about her. Can you actually marry a celebrity? If it's Genevieve and Najee, fine. Yes, I will. Okay, at age 19, you're permitted to do certain things. Do you have a girlfriend? Mm, I don't have a girlfriend, though. <laughs> Are you sure you don't sound convincing? Eh? No, I don't have a girlfriend. You've never had? Mm, I've never had, except from when I was in high school, all those small, small things. It was even my, I was the school prefect then, so my assistant, we just, they do boyfriend, girlfriend stuff, but it wasn't that serious. It's just that the kind of boyfriend we do then is, if she no comes school early, I'll be like, hello, why are you not in school? Uh -huh. That's the kind of boyfriend we do those days, Sha. So apart from that, I've not had another one. 
Is there anything in that you, looking back now, you want to discourage the things against or mm -hmm. from doing? Mm. Yes. Which is? Yeah. Which is embrace God as a teenager. Once you lose God when you're a teenager, I, it's always difficult to get to get back to your feet as oh, an adult. You didn't lose God, did you? I didn't, but I have a reason why I said that. You want to share with us? No. <laughs> <Not air. laughs> All, right. All right, that has been the size of our program today on Fresh Celebrity Gist uh, with uh, Emmanuel Sumto. Thank you, audience, and stay tuned for another fresh perspective, fresh edition when it comes to you next time. I am Desmond Utoyen.